This is possibly my favorite look. Hey guys, Madison here. Hi guys, Madison here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have a space makeup look. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be dope. But first, I want to change out of this and into something a little bit more space. To give us some more space vibes, I have my little NASA shirt on. I'm in some space buns. And also here, I'm going to be putting in some colored contacts. These are from Pinky Paradise. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my hands have been washed. If you're ever going to put in contacts, always put them on before your makeup and be sure to have a clean hand. Now these contacts are kind of a galaxy spiral as you can see. I'm going to apply them off camera and I'll be right back and then we can dive into this makeup look. Now that I have both of them in, you can see the pretty little stars in it. This eye was a bit of a troublemaker, but yeah, it's kind of squinting. It's just adjusting to the contact lens. It will get better over the progress of this video. But I just want to throw that out there because it's like throwing me off a little bit. And like, it was, just, it was, I haven't put in colored contacts in a while. And this was just a statement of that basically. Okay, so I'm going to go and start with the eye look. And then I will do like my face, my neck, the rest of that stuff in like later in the video. Also, I have been um, fil like pre-filming because over the summer it's hard for me to upload. And I've gone, I've gotten like two months down and I'm needing to do like another month and I'm tired. I will let y'all know I am, I'm getting tired of makeup, <laughs> but I have a lot of other, I have a whole variety of videos coming y'all's way. It's not just makeup looks. It's not just one specific thing, but it's late in the, the night like always. And I'm just, I'm kind of worn out. I will be honest. It is kind of straining. I don't know how certain creators can do like things like vlogmas and stuff. Like I don't get it, I don't understand and I don't know. But yeah, I kind of just went everywhere with this uh, eye primer because you never know where a look like this may go. Anyway, we're gonna power through. This was the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and the palettes I'm gonna use, they're all Pro Fusion because <laughs> they're like the biggest palettes I have and I don't really have a variety of palettes so we're gonna use a lot of profusion palettes today now the ones i picked out was the spectrum palette it has that whole row of purples and blues and pinks and then i have the festival palette that has you know the same it's just a different variation of these colors so i can blend them and then i have the wonderlust palette and it has that nice little section it also has highlights so in case i want to highlight Either way, the gang's all here and we're about to do a makeup look. So the direction of this look that I'm wanting to go in is kind of have, you know, blue in the middle and blend out into the purple and the pink. And I just, I want to follow that line. So that's probably what I'm going to do on my lid. I'm going to start with the dark blue splash in the Wonderlust palette. And we're going to apply that to my inner corner. Next in the Wonderlust palette, I'm going to take the color Retro. It's a deep, dark purple. And I'm going to put that on the center of my lid and just blend the purple and the blue together to make a nice smooth transition. Now that we have the purple done, I'm going to dig into the Spectrum palette and use the bright pink Rave, and I'm gonna put that on my outer corner and blend it together. We have the kind of top layer done. I'm gonna take some concealer and I'm going to do a quick cut crease, and then we will almost be done with this look. It's a very simple eye look, and then the rest of the Galaxy makeup is going to be kind of around my body. It's gonna be a very, full body makeup look. This is where the look could get totally ruined, <laughs> but we have like the whole lid cut out. I am going to apply some duo lash glue, the clear, and I'm going to add some glitter onto my lid and kind of do, kind of make it like a big thick eyeliner if I'm being honest. Like the way it's cut, it's already gonna do that anyway. And I might try to add some tint to it. I don't know what's fixing to happen, I'm kind of scared. But we're just, we're gonna so I have the glue applied to the first lid. I'm going to, woo, okay. So it's a very fine powdery glitter. I'm gonna stick it on there. Trying to clean up the excess glitter and it's not really going away. So I'm trying to wipe it the best I can, but that did work pretty well. 
and it does look really really pretty even with the excess glitter on the inner blue but i'm gonna go since this was such a success i'm gonna go do the other eye off camera and i'll be right back so now that i have this nyx glitter on literally every surface in my room um we are done with that i realized that i really couldn't do anything to make the glitter look any different it would be really cool if i would have had different colored glitter but we're gonna we're gonna be okay with what we got i think it looks really sickening so that being said um i'm going to do the under eye really fast and it's going to be um let's see let's reverse the colors for a change i'm going to do the blue purple pink and it's just gonna really tight together so i'm gonna go in with the same colors as i did before and i'm just going to kind of outline the eye and just give it its own little moment now that we have the lower lash line done um i'm gonna go off camera do a lash really really quick and we will put the finishing touches on this eye look and then move towards the rest of the body okay so off camera i did lashes i did mascara and i did do like a simple brow look and i'm going to add the finishing touch which is the constellations and i'm not gonna add too many here but i do want to have like a few little white dots some stars hopefully i can get it to look somewhat decent so the way i'm wanting to do the stars is oof maybe not come on star you got this go down hey okay it's it's trying it was very hard to kind of work this but that's not as i did not want that dot that big but it's okay it's okay just kind of dabbing around and i got some on my lash great it has been a day but hey it's there it's here it's galaxy boom i'm gonna do that to the other eye and i'll be right back and then we can focus on my cheeks my lips and shoulders neck everything else and we will have a full wrap both eyes are complete we have a nice little star moment also the tips of my lashes are now white because um well i accidentally got them white and then i was just like why not i think it looks kind of cool it blends in with the glitter it just gives it a little extra something that it didn't have before. So now that the top half is done, I'm going to focus on the cheeks, my neck, and I'm going to do a little galaxy moment on my shoulders. I'm going to be taking the same colors I was using first in the Wonderlust and Spectrum palette, and I'm going to kind of do the same thing just on my cheeks in different areas of my body. I really want to turn into a space alien galaxy moment i'm going to take a fluffy brush that i use for bronzer and i'm just going to dip it into this blue that i was using earlier and we're going to give ourselves kind of a a violet moment and i don't know if many people are familiar with it the girl that ate that bubble gum in willy wonka and then she just turned blue and we're going to kind of just have a blue nose that's essentially what we're going to do and it's kind of shiny so i'm living for it but I really just gotta turn into a smurf real quick. I'm probably fixing to quickly transition into the purple and really just kind of, woo, we getting too bright. But I'm going to dip into the same purple that I used earlier and I'm just gonna kind of start dabbing it in and then moving it down towards my cheeks. Now that I look like I am about to turn into a blueberry, um, I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to apply that towards like higher cheekbone area and I'm going to end up mixing the purple and the pink and just kind of trying to blend it at that point. I have sort of a mask thing going on here. I kind of took a weird creative liberty but it will look a lot better once I add in the stars to really make it look like a cool little galaxy but repeating what I did on my face I'm going to certain spots of my body like where my neck creases i'm gonna do kind of almost like a contour and really just hit some spots with the blue and i will fade the other colors out around it and i'm definitely gonna do like the center of my shoulders like right there and i'm really gonna get in with the color and i'm going to make a whole 
body look. This is probably the first time I've done something to this extent. Maybe one day I can become a great, you know, body painter like they have. Because there, there are some really talented individuals, but I don't know. We'll have to see how this turns out first. Now that my body is kind of a pastel little galaxy going on, um, I'm going to go in and kind of do what I did with my eyes. I'm going to add in tiny little stars, and little dots, and I'm really like pull this look together, but I'm going to do that off camera because I really need to focus and it's hard to do it while doing the video. It's hard for me to like know where to look. So I'm just going to do that off camera. I'm going to come back whenever I have the whole galaxy on my body and we will do a lip and then we'll be done with the look. Woo! Okay, so I have my stars on, I have some glitter shimmer going on, and honestly, it looks really dope. <laughs> I am so, like, every time I do one of these kind of looks, I am constantly getting more and more amazed at how my skills are improving. Um, I tried to do a galaxy look before a couple years ago, and I'll put that there, and it was terrible. It was awful. I thought I did something. I did absolutely nothing. So like looking from there to here, how much better it's improved. I love seeing growth, I love seeing improvement, but it's time for a lip. I have various lips here. I have the NYX uh, Pink Matte. I have a, is this Tarte? Yes, a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I have a Wet n Wild. They're all kind of iridescent. I also have a lip liner, another NYX, and it's gonna be blue. So I don't know which one's gonna show up the best, so it's gonna be kind of trial and error until I find something that I like that kind of fits in with the galaxy like aesthetic I got going on. But first I'm going to take the NYX liner and I'm just going to line out my lips with this blue. Now that we have been outlined, I am going to take the pink matte and I'm going to apply that to my lips. So with the first coat that I did, um, it blended the blue and the pink and it made this pretty, pretty purple. And then I went back over with the liner and outline to make a kind of deep dark purple. I put the light pink on the inner to kind of give a cool little ombre effect. So I, I really like this look. This is probably the best ombre lip that I've ever done because I've never done one of those correctly. So I tried to figure out which one of these top gloss I wanted to use over this look. And I've decided with the Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Cat Suit in shade Grave Robber. And it's this really pretty iridescent. And I know this lighting does not do it justice. Like in person, it looks very purpley and blue and it's really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna apply it over. And I don't want to overpower the lip and get rid of the cool ombre effect, so I'm trying to do it very sparsely, just to give it a cool galaxy shine. So this is what the lip ended up looking like. I'm kind of wanting to go in with the white and give it a little bit more like gloss, I don't know, maybe shine, stars. I just, I feel like it needs something. So I went in, I added a little bit of dots, some stars. And honestly, I love it. This is so cool. Um, whenever I went into this, I did not think that it would turn out this good. Um, I love my growth. I love that it's somewhat starting to come together. I'm very proud of myself and my skills. I'm just hyping myself up. There's always room for improvement. But at times like this, I'm very, very proud of myself. Anyway, this is the final look. We have a nice glam space moment. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching the video if you stuck around this long. As always, leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and Friday, and I will see you guys next time.